Hello there, welcome to Yoga with Anya and welcome to Yoga During Pregnancy. Today we practice three postures, not more, not less, and it's there for you if you feel a bit fatigued, maybe if you suffer from a bit of nausea, that you just can take the time to step onto your mat but you don't feel like you have to carve out half an hour or you have to stay very energetic. So three postures, we keep it very simple, very soft, and I hope it will serve you well. So let's begin in a seated posture. I've chosen hero's pose sitting on my heels, but you can do cross-legged. And then just for a moment, allow your palms to face down onto your knees. Gesture of grounding, gesture of going inward. And then take a moment to lengthen your back here. So try to, even though you might not fully feel like it today, try to open your chest, bring the shoulders slightly down your back and allow yourself to sit here nice and tall, nice and proud. Move your chin a little bit further away from the chest so your airways are open. And then let's take a moment to soften and close down the eyes here. And with whatever is present for you currently, whatever you're experiencing in your pregnancy, allow that to be part of you. So not trying to push anything away or trying to change it. See if you can just really settle into how you're feeling right here, right now. And we're gonna start with 10 soft cleansing breaths, just to release a little bit of whatever you may need to, maybe releasing a bit of tension, or again, something that you, you currently work through. So let's take an in-breath through the nostrils, deep breath in, draw it down into bump into the air of your baby, and then open your mouth and softly exhale. Side out, inhale through the nose, just very soft today. Exhale, gently open your lips and blow it out. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Inhale. And exhale. Breathe in for this fifth round. Exhale softly and completely. And then count five more of these gentle cleansing breaths for yourself. And just try to really visualize you're inhaling new energy into the body and you're exhaling to release and let go. Really feeling how on the out breath, your shoulders are dropping away from the ears, your hips are getting heavier. One last round, inhale, inhale deeply and exhale completely. Beautiful work, very, very nice. And then slowly, gently open your eyes. And we begin today with a bit of a stretch through the side body and try to bring a bit more energy into the system. So you can stay seated as you are or change it now. As you inhale, reach your arms around the body. Take them all the way up towards the ceiling. Inhale here. And as you exhale, draw your hands down through your heart center. Breathing in, reaching the arms up and overhead. Full stretch, full length. And exhale. Follow your thumbs with your gaze and release them down. Three more rounds. Inhale, nice stretch through the side body here. Exhale to release. And twice more, just feeling nice and long in the body. Awakening the body, bringing energy here into your practice. Very good. And last round. Inhale to stretch and lengthen. And exhale to soften and release. Beautiful work. And now let's move into tabletop. Take it slow, coming onto your hands and knees. 
Separate your knees at least hip width apart, depending on your bump, maybe slightly further, and place your palms underneath your shoulders. And especially today, as you might feel that you you didn't even really want to choose to practice, but you're now here, which is amazing. Well done for showing up. You just connect to the mat underneath you. So you're not pressing down. You just feel hands and feet rooting towards the earth. And then for a very soft cat and cow, drop your belly down. Allow your bump to soften as you inhale. Lift the chest slightly forward. And make sure that you don't feel any strain on your bump so you don't have to go too far. Inhale again. And as you breathe out, round your back, tuck your tailbone. Well, don't tuck it under, slightly push the hips forward, looking towards the belly button. And then let's go with the breath. As you inhale, drop belly, lift your chest and your gaze. And maybe keep the eyes closed as you now start to tune into your own rhythm. And I would like you now to stop following the video and to really drop into your natural tempo. So you're following your breath and you enjoy getting the, all that movement into your upper back, middle back, lower back. And remember quite often it's not the intention of how much you're doing, it's how well you're breathing and how well you just tune into your body and stay present with it. Every breath you're taking in is that deep abdominal breath. Every time you're exhaling, try to release and relax. Let's take three more rounds of cat and cow here. And very last round for today, inhaling to arch the spine, exhaling to round. Beautiful work. And then for puppies pose, pose heart to earth pose, curl your toes under. Make sure you have enough of your mat in front of you, enough space. And then keep your hips over your heels, reach your arms forward until you can soften your forearms down towards the earth. And then notice if you can relax the forehead down or if you want to keep your head slightly lifted. And again, your knees are hip width, maybe further. And then start to soften your heart. Start to soften your chest towards the earth. Keep your eyes closed. And start to tune into a light smile. So visualizing the corners of your mouth lifting towards the eyes. And that smile that you're giving yourself is reaching your baby. Allowing your baby or babies to smile too. Notice the length you're creating here in your back. While you're breathing, visualize breathing into the back, but also keeping the side body long here, keeping shoulders away from the ears. And you can always experiment with lifting the elbows, stretching the hands a little bit further if you start to feel a bit more active. A couple more breaths. One more deep, long inhale. Another out breath here. Very, very nice. And then slowly start to press your hands towards the earth. Lift all the way out of your posture. And to seal off our practice today, we're going to come into Balasana, into child's pose. So bring your big toes together, widen your knees apart. And as you reach your arms forward, you might choose to create a pillow with your fists or you can again have your elbows on the earth and your forehead completely down on the mat. And now take that time as we seal off our practice today. 
do not think or judge how much you've done in your practice or how much time you've spent moving in your yoga practice. It really is that even if you have one minute and you're consciously breathing, you can already call this your yoga practice because you've done it mindfully, you've done it for yourself. So appreciate that you have stepped onto the mat today. Hopefully you're feeling a little bit more energized, maybe a bit more positive. And allow your breath now to become really calm and quiet. And take a moment to surrender here. So just allowing the head to soften down, the shoulders to feel heavy. This beautiful bump of yours, beautiful growing bump, gently expanding down towards the mat, even if it's not visible yet. Visualize that beautiful balloon belly. Hips heavy. And there you are, noticing your entire body from head to toes. In a moment of appreciation, what you're currently doing growing this human being within you or human beings again give yourself a smile give yourself an imaginary hug here and if you suddenly feel like adding on any other practices or maybe taking uh, meditation now then please feel free to spend more time on your mat and otherwise let's slowly slowly come out come out connect one hand to baby one hand on your heart gently bow your head down in a moment of silence again a moment of appreciation and well done for practicing today from my heart to yours namaste mm -hmm.